guys and welcome to my natural habitat as it would jokes if i was actually in my natural habitat i would be in my bed right now um but to be fair since this whole lockdown i have actually been spending more time in the kitchen doing some baking so i thought i would vlog it today so i don't know if any of you guys went to went to school obviously you went to school if you guys um, remember, especially at my school, we had these like chocolate oat things and then on top was like chocolate icing and oh, they were the best things that we'd ever have at school for breaking stuff. So I found these in mum's old cooking book. <laughs> Bless her, she's got loads of good recipes in here. So I'm going to make them on camera for you and then if you want to buy them when you're going out for your shopping, just get the ingredients. Most of the stuff is you'll have in your house butter self-raising flour sugar cocoa powder but if you want you can just use like hot chocolate powder and golden syrup if you want you don't have to use that and then oats obviously if you don't have oats then you could pick some up when you go shopping so i'm just going to start weighing all these ingredients out and i'm just going to wash my hands before we start so let's get into this baking with me all right guys you're down here so my hands ha have just been washed and we're going to start with the ingredients obviously you need a weighing scales but I've normally used this to weigh stuff out, but I've actually used my brain. I'm coming down here. I've actually used my brain, guys. I'm going to use a saucepan, and I'm going to weigh the saucepan, and then put that on zero. So then, because obviously all of my wet ingredients need to go in, well, all the ingredients in the end will go in here, so I just thought this would be an easier way to do it. So we need 250 grams of butter. Get that in there. If you know me, you know how much I hate butter. And we may have a few guest appearances in the video. There's one coming down the stairs right now. Whoa. I think it's literally going to be this whole thing. Ugh, this is so gross. Five more grams. As you can see, I'm being quite precise because that's what all the top chefs are like. I'm going to be the next Gordon Ramsay, I reckon. Actually, he doesn't bake. Um, the next Mary Berry. So, okay, right, moving on. So, and then we're going to add a bit of Gordon syrup. You don't actually have to add this if you don't want to, so I'm just going to add a bit of a squirt. It's just to give it a bit more um, sweetness. So I'm going to pop this just over here for a minute because we need to weigh our now dry ingredients so i'm just going to use this for this now because obviously it won't get stuck which is fine so we need 175 grams of oats and i've just got these ones mum just picked these ones up so these are the ones that i'm going to be using how do you get in these oh my god it's just over here yeah Right, so we need 175 grams of oats. Wow. Oh, I'm still everywhere. Well, this is going great. <laughs> That's fine. It's a bit of fun. Right. Same with self raising flour. 175 grams of self raising flour. I don't know if this is all going to fit in here, but we'll give it a go. What's 175 plus 175. Oh god, my maths. Hey Siri. What's 175 plus 175? 175. 175 plus one. Right, 350. My maths is top notch, if you ask me. 140 grams of sugar. lastly we need 14 grams of cocoa powder and i'm actually going to press zero for this one because i'm you know being a pro today well so just 14 grams of this perfect so these are my dry ingredients and the lovely mess that i've made so now we're going to head over and start the cooking process and i also forgot to tell you because i'm really rubbish I um, have lined this with and um, greased it as well, which is what it's going to go in. So we need to put the hob on and then we need to start melting this. So I'm just going to get a wooden spoon and then I'm just going to wait for this to start melting. 
So what I wanted to do is get me in it and this, but it's not really going to plan, so we're just going to have to roll with it. I need to get another camera so I can get the angles, you know? Get them angles going. Oh god, that is a lovely noise. So I'm just waiting for the butter to melt. This is what it's looking like if you've never seen melted butter before. It's all about having fun, you know? Also, I can't remember if I told you, but I preheated the oven to 180 degrees. And then they'll need to be in for 20 minutes, so I'm just making them, but then they'll need to be in for 20 minutes. But I wanted to tell you what I preheated the oven to. So I've put the light on now, which is obviously better, and I'm now going to add all of my dry ingredients in. Just going to want to mix that until they're all blended in nicely. I can't remember if I told you, but you're obviously going to need ice and sugar to put on the top as well. I think I said that, but I can't remember. Get the muscles going. Don't need to go to the gym when you can do this. Here's the other guest. Hi, Mum. Hi. What do you think to my baking? There's somebody making a lot of mess. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, would you go along, darling? No, I don't have time. Oh, right. Okay. Right, so... That should just keep mixing until all of your mixtures together and then I'll show you the next step. So guys, now you want to get your mixture and put it in a tray. Mum, what would you how would you describe this tray? Mm, I would say it's a rectangle tray. Rectangle roasting tin. A rectangle roasting tin is what you'll need guys. Or anything rectangular. And then just spread it around. And I promise you, you won't regret making them because they are so tasty. We'll find out when you make them. They are tasty. <laughs> when you make them. When you've made them, okay. Yeah, I know, they're tasty oh. when you make them. Oh, right. Try and do it evenly, which I'm struggling with, but try and keep it as even as you can. And it is, it is good to have a mum or an adult around just in case you need help because I will be up and am to check this before, before I pop it in the oven guys and that's fine like, it doesn't matter if you need help all I can say is I'm glad I didn't have to crack any eggs into this baking because sometimes I get the shell in which isn't great but like I said I am Mary Berry so I have stepped up in the game and I'll just get mum to check this and then we'll be popping it in the oven guys and now it's just going in the oven for 20 minutes. Keep an eye on it and then that should all be good. And like I said, don't, don't be afraid to make mess. It's, it's all part of the process. Hey Siri, set, ti set timer for 20 minutes. Your timer is set for 20 minutes. And you're all good to go. Have a little wait. I'm going to charge my camera battery because it's going to die. Make some TikToks. Just have have the time of your life, guys, really. Also, if you're as messy as me, tidying up probably would be a good idea whilst they're baking. Lovely. So once they've been in for 20 minutes, you just want to take them out, leave them to cool. You should just know by the look of it that it's cooked. Also, it will be a little bit bouncy. If you want to put something in and if you take it out, it's all clean, then that's another way to know. But yeah, it's only oats really, so it shouldn't make too difference if it is slightly undercooked. But I'm sure 20 minutes would be perfect. So pop it in for 20 minutes, take it out like I just have, and then I'm going to wait for it to cool. And then I'll update you when I'm about to ice it. So I'm back and... My things have cooled. This is what my oaties are looking like. Delicious. So what we need to do is we need to grab a bowl. Right, because of mum's wise words, we've got a different bowl now. We need some icing sugar, some cocoa powder, and a bowl to mix it in. So you need 125 grams of icing sugar and 20 grams of cocoa powder. <laughs> so. 125 grams of icing sugar. That's a lot, I reckon, because icing sugar doesn't really weigh much. There we go. 125 grams. So we need 20 grams of cocoa powder. Okay. 
So I'm just going to put that in this mixing bowl. And then we're just going to add some water to that, guys. Um, I'm not 100% sure how much to add for the water. So I'm just going to add a little bit in at a time. And when it starts to look the right consistency, I'll show you guys. And then that's how you'll know, sort of thing. I'm not professional, really, am I? Sorry, guys. So, mum's talking to the lady that we get our Chinese from. Because she's not open at the minute. She's just from my mum, so we must be the best vet. Her favourite customers. I'd say this is probably the right thickness. It's not too thin and it's not too thick. So it's really nice and easy to spread on. So, Right, so I've got one of these things. I've got my oat and my icing sugar. So I'm just going to spoon it on and then spread it around. You can see that thickness. It's nice. That's weird though. Yeah. Yeah. The lady that does our Chinese is ripping my mum. Yeah. Right, so now I'm just going to spread it over. Yeah. Right, so this is what your finished product should look like. It doesn't look very appetising at the minute, but then you need to pop it in the fridge until this is um, solid. Obviously, it's still wet. So once that's happened, then they'll be good to slice and good to eat and this is just i'm just going to show you the recipe if you want to screenshot that or whatever then you can i'll update you when i'm about to cut it hi guys and we're now about to cut it so i've been listed is that the right word yep mum and help me or she's just taking over anyway <laughs> i'm not taking it if you want to do it you do it i've got the muscle so i won't trust jesse rude <laughs> Cut down. Oh no, mother! Nah. She thinks I'm a fickle. <laughs> oh Perfect! Perfect square! It's a rectangle, but okay. <laughs> oh, shit on it. What have you done? I haven't cut it straight. You do it, mum, please. Obviously, you can cut it into as many as you want. If you want one big bar, just eat it as a big bar or you can cut it like we're doing we're cutting it into 12 they're still pretty good sizes so you'll be able to enjoy that and now we're gonna try enjoy all with a nice cup of tea i should think mum are you yeah why not but this is the overall result well done Jessie. i think you did a good job mm. thanks guys and thanks for cooking with me guys don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye